So Game Pass is now available for the Quest 3 headset, believe it or not, and the Quest 2 headset about a month or two early here before its official release. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. By the way, this is free, but now you can play Game Pass on your Quest 3 or Quest 2 headset. And I'm telling you what, I got the drive today and it was a lot of fun. So let's get into it, here we go. Now, if it's your first time being here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jose. I'm an air traffic controller and a huge VR flight sim nerd, VR nerd. And uh, that's how I ended up today at the airport. At the end of my shift, I went down over there and I got to try out on the busy airport Wi-Fi how the Game Pass worked. And I'll tell you what, I was blown away. It worked better than it worked at my house, which was kind of weird because I also got to try it here at my house in my bedroom. I tried it in the living room. Uh, but yeah, th this is super simple, guys, and it's free, which is probably the best part of this. But uh, let's get into it. First, before we start, let's go over the few items we need. It's not a lot, but I want to clarify it just so there's no confusion. All right, so number one, guys, you're gonna need a good Wi-Fi connection. I hope that's obvious. We're not tethered to anything, so we need a good Wi-Fi connection. You could likely use a mobile hotspot if that works, but just consider the speed of your phone and the connection you have. Number two, you're gonna need your Quest 3 or your Quest 2 headset. I know this is obvious, but you need a headset to make this work, and the good thing is it works with both. Number three, your Xbox controller. That is the only way to be able to play that I know of that's simple. I mean, I don't wanna be lugging around a bunch of other stuff, so have that Xbox controller handy. And number four, you will need an Xbox Game Pass. This is not free in the sense that uh, you can't play without an Xbox Game Pass, right? That's what we're talking about here. But you can use a free trial if you find one, so look out for free trials and see if that works for you. All right, guys, so let's go into the three steps here, and they're super simple. I'm telling you, they get easier with each one. Step number one, you're gonna take your Xbox controller, pair it to the headset. Super simple, but I just did it first, get it done out of the way. By the way, if you have a keyboard and mouse, you can also pair that and use this to set this up, but it's not necessary. You can use your hands as they're tracked correctly with the Quest 3 or just use your controller and type on the keyboard. So step number uh, one, right, sync your Xbox controller. Step number two on the Oculus Store. Navigate, go to the Oculus Store, look for a program called Fluid. Download this software, it's free. It actually comes through the App Lab, which is approved by Oculus. And this is an immersive workspace app that allows you to have multiple windows up, have a keyboard and mouse plugged in, get some work done. It's, it's really neat, right? And it's free, so consider that. For now, it's free. Download this program Fluid, set it up. And that is probably the most work you're gonna do here, setting up that, that Fluid app. Do the tutorial, get to know how it works, and once you're all squared away, this is the next easiest step, guys. Step number three is you go to xbox.com, sign in, click around, make your way over to Game Pass, and now you can play the games online. As you can see, I was here uh, at the airport and I got to play Microsoft Flight Sim flying over Egypt like a nerd, like a VR nerd, right? The VR pilot. And let me tell you, it was a lot of fun. Just the fact that I can now fly and anywhere I want, really, you know, as long as I have good Wi-Fi and battery, which by the way, still working on that battery issue on this. If I have any updates on that, I will let you know. But uh, being able to fly, being able to drive in uh, Need for Speed and then Grand Theft Auto, just whatever you want. The whole Xbox Game Pass library is available to us. And guys, this library is one of the best ones. Uh, I don't know how good Sony's is, but I'll tell you, it doesn't really compare to like the Quest, um, the Quest library that we have, which is kind of small. I mean, there's some good hits in there, on there, but uh, the Game Pass library is amazing. And as you can see, I got to, you know, run around at the airport and just have a blast playing this game. So I actually even went to get coffee wearing the headset and it was the funniest thing. I got some some funny stares, but um, yeah, straight up ordered coffee wearing this headset and then I went home. But in December, we're gonna be getting a polished app because Oculus has worked with Microsoft or Meta, should I say, and they're gonna fix that for us. So wait until then, but uh, I did compare this headset the Quest 3 to the Reverb G2 because I do mainly PC VR flight simulation stuff and PC gaming. So if you're curious about my opinions on that, click over here and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.